So let's talk about treatment of the internal and external oblique muscles of the abdomen. These are really important muscles. We're going to go through soft tissue releases, but we're also going to talk a little bit about TCM acupuncture points, which could relate to the area. In addition, I'm going to talk about the importance of actually adjusting the lumbar spine and the SI joints. So in terms of the obliques, these are key muscles for trunk rotation, lateral flexion, and core stabilization. Now in terms of the external obliques, we're talking about the origin being ribs 5 to 12, insertion on the iliac crest, linea alba, and the pubic tubercle. Internal obliques, iliac crest, thoracolumbar fascia, so wrapping all the way around to the back, and inguinal, inguinal ligament. Insertion on the lower ribs, 10 to 12, linea alba, and the pubis. Now in terms of the nerve supply, we're talking intercostal nerves, T7 to T11, and the subcostal nerve, T12, and L1 nerve branches. So fairly diffuse innervation there. Okay, so we're gonna to to change our orientation here a little bit. Bring your leg up there, Mickey. You okay there with me reaching on the, here? Yeah. Okay, leg behind. So we're gonna go with this orientation. Okay, you okay? Yeah. Feel that quite a bit? Yeah. Back up, let's do that a few times. Take it down, make it a little inferior. Back up, so we have to change the orientation here of the tissue. Going up, take it back. Feel this one a lot more, a don't lot you? A lot more? Yeah. Back up. And again, taking it down. Now obviously if I'm treating this, I'm real life I'm gonna be using, doing both sides of the body and I'm gonna to wait to feel a release in the area. But uh, this can be very powerful work. So let's go on to a few points we can actually use to help release these areas. So there's a point I want to mention to you, it's called gallbladder 29. It's on the lateral hip, halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine, so up here, and the greater trochanter of the femur. So I can feel the greater trochanter here. So we're talking about halfway in between here, we're right there. You okay there, Mickey? Yeah. So I'm gonna get on there, kind of move that around a bit. Feeling that quite a bit? Yes. Okay, that is pretty tight, actually. Oh, no. So this really helps to loosen up the entire pelvis. We consider the origin insertion of the obliques and actually how it wraps around also. This can be a very effective point to use. And of course, we're gonna use both sides of the body. This is going to help re release fascial restrictions through all the muscles but also it will increase blood flow substantially and reduce pain in the area. Are you okay there? Yeah. Yeah. It's tender. <laughs> yeah, tight area. Good. So this is gallbladder 29, and when it comes to each of these points, we have specific videos on every single point in great detail, showing you how to locate it and how to use it. All you have to do is go to the our website and you'll see a uh, playlist under traditional Chinese medicine fascial expansions. So the next point I want to talk about is gallbladder 30. It's on the posterior lateral aspect of the hip at the junction of the lateral one-third and medial two-thirds of the distance between the greater trochanter and the sacral hiatus. Now, in this point is be the midpoint of the gluteal crease. So we take the gluteal crease, midpoint, we're gonna be right here. Okay, how you doing there? You feel that quite a bit? Okay, so if we think of the obliques, and we think of them actually wrapping around right to the posterior and affecting and connecting right into the lumbar fascia, this is why this point becomes important. And of course, we're gonna do both sides of the body. This is going to loosen up all the muscles in the area, but it's also going to help to improve circulatory function in the area. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it easing off at all? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Pretty tender when I first started there, wasn't it? A little bit time. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and move oh. around a bit there. Okay. So don't just get in there and push right in, but just move around until you feel a bit of a release there. You okay? Mm -hmm. Hanging in there? Yeah. Good. So while we're here, I want to talk about spinal manipulative therapy, opening up the facet joints, and in terms of actually releasing restrictions in the SI joints. This is so important in terms of taking pressure off the 
nervous system, in terms of actually winding it down so we're not sympathetic dominant, so we can actually get the muscles to relax. This is really, really powerful work and well, well supported with scientific literature. Mickey, it's okay if I actually do a few adjustments here? Yeah. Okay. Grab your shoulders. I'm just going to check out the mid thoracic area first, kind of the junction between the lumbar and the low back there. Good. Oh, you're fine there. Turn your side towards me. So first I'm just going to, okay, bring this over here. Drop this down. Drop it down. Good. You're fine there. I'm going to bring this over one more time. And you're fine. There. Other side. So we've been working with Mickey a little bit today, so I think we've probably released most of the restrictions already. <laughs> okay, drop this down, over. No, you're good there. And back over. Perfect. Okay, so really important we do this. We can take a look at the restrictions in the fascia with a lot of the acupuncture points, actually get in, release those structures in terms of soft tissue, but the osseous manipulation is also incredibly important. 